that we'll be speaking, that is to the ECN's, that is Chief Electoral and Referenda Officer Theo Muyoro, who is joining us to speak about preparations for today. Now, election day is finally upon us, and voters will be heading to the polls for the rerun of the Marintel Rural Constituency, that is, and the local authority areas of Stamperit, Quest, and Arwab. And joining me now on the line is Theo Muyoro, the Chief Electoral and Referenda Officer um, of the ECN. Mr. Muyoro, very good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Good morning, and thank you for having me this morning. Election day has dawned upon us, and we know that polls are opening in the next about 34 minutes or so. Is it all systems go for the ECN? Yes, indeed. Uh, we can really confirm that uh, we have completed our preparations uh, for these uh, uh, rerun elections in these four localities. Mm -hmm. Yesterday was a very important day because it was the day of deployment where we have given uh, uh, all the required materials and equipment to all the teams. Yep. And basically, where we have given our final instructions to the various teams that will be performing election duties uh, today. Mm -hmm. uh, all our staff uh, are very well trained, and I really have no doubt in my mind that uh, they will do a superb job today. So for that reason, it's really uh, all systems goes, as you said. We are ready and prepared to conduct uh, these elections uh, uh, efficiently in a manner that uh, all stakeholders, political parties, yes. as well as the voters, would be uh, satisfied with. Yeah. Uh, just looking at yesterday, which was, of course, uh, deployment day, so to say, uh, were there any challenges uh, reported in that regard? There were no challenges whatsoever. Mm -hmm. I think when you look at uh, the uh, these uh, uh, small scale elections, yeah. We are not running elections on a national scale. For that reason, we have the opportunity to concentrate and focus all our energies and forces. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, all the, uh, our best people with sufficient uh, reinforcements from the head office. Yep. In terms of transport logistics, we have uh, sufficient vehicles. So we, we, we really have no challenges whatsoever. Fantastic. <clears throat> Of course, we've seen the return of the ballot paper. Just perhaps as the, the chief electoral and referenda officer, you can speak to us, you know, about what the return of the ballot paper has been like for the ECN and perhaps some of the advantages of it as well. Um, I think um, uh, 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 it is best to say that uh, the experience, especially when we did the regional local authority elections last year in November, mm -hmm. the experience of using ballot papers clearly uh, was a good one <clears throat> because we did not have uh, any major challenges yep. uh, when we did uh, the elections last year, with the exception of uh, one or two, a uh, 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 few places where there were complaints about uh, or maybe minor disputes in respect to uh, 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 a polling officials not being able to determine the intention of the voter, yeah. looking at the manner the cross was made on some of the ballot papers. But overall and generally, I think uh, we managed to, to hold the election successfully mm -hmm. using manual ballot papers. I think one of the, uh, one of the uh, uh, best things when you look at ballot papers, I think Compared to electronic uh, means of voting, yes. ballot papers in terms of verification, I think it is much easier. It's, it's a straightforward manual process. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, in case of a dispute at a particular polling station, it is very easy to resolve a dispute because you can recount the ballot papers physically yes. in, a, in, a, in a verifiable manner that everybody can see. So there, there clearly there are advantages in terms of uh, uh, conducting elections uh, uh, using manual ballot papers, perhaps compared to uh, electronic means. But of course, yeah. both systems have their pros and cons, if I can put it that way. Very much so. 
Furthermore, of course, just looking at the breakdown of the figures for these four localities, the Marinta Rural Constituency consists of about 4,000 eligible voters, um, and the other three localities of approximately 1,200 each. Um, considering the time frame, considering the counting of the results, um, how, how long do you think this process will take? How soon can we expect the results? Yes. When you look at the numbers of uh, registered voters in these four localities, mm -hmm. they are really not that high, especially if you compare the three local authorities mm -hmm. and if you compare them to other urban centers around the country. Yes. For that reason, we'll be opening polls in the next 30 minutes and we'll be closing at 9 p.m. this evening. It is our expectation that uh, by the early afternoon, we should have uh, processed most of the voters. Mm -hmm. And frankly, uh, based on our experience and our assessment of this particular process, mm -hmm. we do not expect to observe uh, uh, long queues by 9 p.m. this evening in those four localities. We expect that by the early afternoon, we would have processed most of the voters passing through our polling stations. As you have already said, looking at the numbers, they are really, they are really not uh, that high. Yeah. Uh, Stanbridge local authority is about 1,200 voters. The same for Coors local authority, about 1,167. Yeah. Ariad local authority is about 1,200. And the Marine River Constituency is about 4,000 votes. They are not that many in terms of numbers. Therefore, we don't expect any pressure on our polling teams at the various polling stations. So our expectation is that when we close this polls by 9 p.m., mm -hmm. before midnight, the Shishi, I think I'm tempted to make this commitment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I think really by, before midnight, we should uh, have been able to declare the results in these four localities for these elections. And we'll be holding you to your word, sir. Just, just take us through, you know, the process. So once upon, upon the completion of, of, of the closing of the polls, um, considering that it's two different regions, considering the, the distances um, between... <coughs> the, can you hear me, sir? Yes, I can hear yeah. you. Considering the distances also, um, just take us through the process and the announcement of the results as well, yeah. Uh, I think it is... Uh, a much less complicated process because of the numbers that we're dealing with. Mm -hmm. When you look at Kuwait and Arwa, for example, in these two local authorities, we will be operating only two fixed points in each. And we would have, uh, we would have one collision center in each of those two. Yeah. The same applies to Stambrit, but also to the greater Marino rural constituency. When you look at the numbers of teams that we are operating in these elections, they are uh, really uh, uh, insignificant in terms of numbers. Mm -hmm. So for that reason, it is a very straightforward process. We will be conducting these elections in terms of the provisions of the Electoral Act, yeah. the same way we have conducted these elections in November of last year. In other words, at the close of polls at 9 p.m. this evening, the teams will be required uh, after having declared their results at their respective polling stations to take their results tally to a collation center and present their results to a returning officer who would then be expected to collect these results from the various polling stations yes. and make the requested announcement in terms of uh, how all the political contestants would have fared. Mm -hmm. in, in the case of the, the three local authorities, they would then uh, execute the required formula for allocations of seats, yeah. and they would declare the winning uh, 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 political parties plus the seats that each political party would have obtained after these elections. Similarly, mm -hmm. we have, will be applying the first part of the post electoral system in respect to the Marengo rural constituency, in other words, it's a winner-takes-all electoral system. Yep. The, 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 the returning officer, after having collated the votes from the various polling stations at the collation center, mm -hmm. would then also be expected to make the preliminary announcement in terms of the candidate who would have won this electoral contest in that particular constituency. Yeah. Mr. Miro, any final remarks from you this morning, not only to 
the Namibian public <coughs> through the residents of Quest, Arab, Stampreet, and the greater Marital rural constituency, but perhaps also to your team on the ground there. Just what is your message this morning? Yes, I think uh, I really would like to say that uh, we owe the electorate, the voters and the residents in these localities a great deal. Yeah. I think it's important that I mention here that, Shishi, that uh, the fact that we are rerunning this election, uh, it is because of mistakes and errors committed by polling officials last year. Yes. Unfortunately, for that reason, uh, uh, we could not, the residents in these localities, uh, the, the developmental agenda in this area could not be carried forward by new local councillors in the free local authorities. Similarly, for the uh, Moringa Rural constituency, mm -hmm. we could not see the installation of a new councillor yes. for that particular constituency. So we owe these communities a great deal. We really want to make a, commi a commitment mm -hmm. that we have done our best. We have selected the best people. And for the teams, I, 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 I traveled to Kidman's with myself. I was in Marenda the other day. I've met all these individuals. Uh, they, I could see the excitement. People are really ready to conduct these elections. So we really want to put this chapter behind us so that the residents in these areas can carry forth you know, the, their programs and, and basically the developmental agenda yes. in this particular. So I have no doubt in my mind that we will observe, we will have a very good election experience and come 9 p.m. this evening we would be able to uh, announce uh, uh, the election results mm -hmm. without any problems whatsoever. We, we can really make that commitment. Fantastic. Mr. Miyoro, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And uh, we'll be holding you to that uh, midnight uh, 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 deadline, yeah? <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much for, for having me, sir. Yeah.